Right guys, Witcher 3, no frame generation on a GTX 6350 laptop. I'm using Crookback Box specifically as um, the setting because I just find this place to be quite fascinating. So you can see the frames aren't great um, without the frame generation. Let me show you my settings. I did set my game quite high because obviously I'll use, be using frame generation at these high settings. So I'm using FSR 2 on quality, I don't have DLS available because I haven't installed the mod. Um, screen space, ambient occlusion is uh, on HPAO, S uh, screen space reflections are high, motion blur off, most of the, the effects are on except for blur. And then you can see I've got a combination of ultra on characters, shadow quality, high terrain quality, high water quality, medium foliage, ultra plus grass because it looks insane, texture quality is ultra and then detail levels medium. So this is not necessarily how I'd play the game, it's just because I'm going to be using the FSR mod, so I'm going to see if we can actually bump those frames up. And this gives you an idea, at these settings you can see the game struggling, I'm hitting about 38, 40 FPS, I am using GeForce Experience to record so you you can take about you can add about two three extra fps so let's see what you can do with frame generation right and then this is the witcher 3 with frame generation straight off the bat just by standing still you can see the frames have gone up by about 30 fps just to show you it's the same settings with the exception of fsr because uh if you leave it at fsr you're not going to get any generated frames so you have to set it to DLSS which is now unlocked by this mod and obviously set it to quality, uh, sharpening on high, I'm not going to go through all the settings as you can see it's the same settings as I was using earlier. So guys uh, there's good and bad news, the good news is that they have definitely been increasing frames, bad news is that the UI is still quite messed up. And when I draw a sword, especially when I have like a moonstone in the sword, you can see the ghosting is quite bad. I haven't quite figured out how to get rid of it. But the game does feel a shitload smoother. And um, well, it's a lot more playable. Not visually, not visually enjoyable though. Um, because there is a little bit of glitching. Um, in combat, let me just show you what it looks like. Okay. So it's doable, but would you want to? So yeah, you can see there's a bit of ghosting. Let me just get out of there. There's a bit of ghosting. I haven't quite figured out how to get rid of it though. Um, because obviously with Alan Wake, what I did was I went um, to the render file and I got rid of all the extra effects. But you'll see, even if I get rid of the effects, yeah, the ghosting still stays. So you can see the ghosting is still active. Whether or not it's a little bit better, it's debatable. Let's see if we change the settings. Uh, sorry, this is going. Ugh, this video is a little bit longer because you you testing this out with me. Okay, so I'm on a GTX 1650, so let's be more moderate and see if moderate settings do change things. I'll leave grass at ultra plus. Water quality can put on medium. Terrain quality put on medium. Shadow quality definitely want to put that on medium. Remember, this is just me testing. I don't know if it's going to work for sure. Uh, back in characters, let's put to high. See if it gets rid of some of the ghosting. Uh, the, the UI glitching and the ghosting is still there. So guys, look, I've got the mod to work. Whether or not it's an improvement, it's up to you. I will include the files there so you can install it and just check it out for yourself. And then maybe play around with it and see if you can get to get rid of the ghosting. But the frames definitely have gone up. They've gone up about 30, 30 FPS. Obviously, there are generated frames, but the game at these settings feels on the um, on the next gen update does feel a lot smoother. 
but it's just a pity about that UI. So I'll show you how to install the file now. Right guys, in the description of the video will be a link to my Google Drive. In the Google Drive, there will be a folder for the Witcher 3 Next Gen update. I am currently on version 4.03 and it's working for me. But guys, it's not perfect as mentioned earlier. So what you can do is just go ahead and download these files over here. And then your download folder will look like this. And then just go locate where the Witcher 3 is on your hard drive. Okay, and then go to the bin folder, go to x64 dx12, it's not going to work in the, the just the regular x64, and then what you want to do is just copy these files over to the Witcher 3. Uh, let's close this. So once you've copied that over, just go ahead and boot up the game, and then obviously you want this the scripts to be taking hold and then just wait for the game to load okay go to options go to video go to graphics and then guys for you i i just did a uh, did a video with dlss for you it's going to be on fsr2 to enable frame generation because at fsr2 you're not going to get any frame generation to enable frame generation you need to put on dlss and then you can either set it to quality, uh, balance, or performance, whichever suits you. Play around with the settings because, as mentioned earlier, it is a little bit ghosty. Uh, so just play around with the settings, see if you can get the ghosting away. For the time being, I'm going to look for the next game. Guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.